Hello, good morning friends. Today we are going to see in detail about the thermometers which we routinely use in chemical laboratories. We will see in detail how thermometer works, what are the chemicals present in thermometers and how we can standardize the thermometers. Now, what are the chemicals you have seen till now in the thermometers is in one case you might have seen at the base some silvery shine material which is responsible to show the temperature and in other case you might have seen the red color liquid. Now the first one is the mercury liquid which has been showing you the temperature depending upon its property of compression and expansion with respect to the increase in de and decrease in temperature whereas second type of thermometers you might have seen the red liquid which is nothing but the alcohol based liquid containing some colored ingredient in first case the thermometers which we routinely use must have some disadvantage where the mercury vapors are hazardous to the health but it gives very accurate temperature reading whereas second type of thermometers which are alcohol based those thermometers have a disadvantage with respect to the temperature uh, observation limits. Both of these thermometers we can standardize just by keeping them in the liquid with whose temperature is known to you. You have to choose the media where the temperature is known to you. All of us we know that water has having its boiling point 100 degrees Celsius. So, simplest way to standardize the thermometer is you have to take distilled water in a container. Just boil the distilled water, keep your thermometer in it and check out whether it shows you the temperature that is nothing but 100 degrees Celsius. So, what we have learned today is how thermometer works, what are the chemicals present in the thermometer and how we can standardize the thermometer. Thank you.